This is Rodney Jerkins for Everyday Joy. We're in the studio, Sony Studios, working with Destiny's Child. About to go see what they up to. Checking them out. They in the studio right now, working on a lot of stuff. Producer Sean Garrett, producer Scott Stores, producer Rock Wilder, and myself. We're gonna go talk to Michelle and also Kelly and see how the process is going on the new record. See how everything's making out. All right, so follow me. Take a walk. With your arms wide open, made me feel something when they said I'd be nothing. Now the whole world's talking. Feels so good to be walking with my sisters and me, Kelly and me. Well, just tell, just tell us how it is being back in the studio. You know, doing your thing, you know, and just tell me how it feels. It feels great <laughs> being back in the studio. We're actually um, writing a song about like the last time like we're putting together a record and you know how it feels which is very emotional we all had our little share so prize emotional. and everything here today now now for both of y'all how you know come over here and share you know got your headphones on now i know y'all both had the solo project so you know yeah. going from the group to the solo mm -hmm. back to the group like what is that transition you like? for TRL? yeah yeah what's the transition <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing. okay no, no, how, how's that transition though the transition has been great, yeah. for real. I don't want to give an answer that we've given in every interview, but it's given us a chance to really grow individually. Mm -hmm. That way, when we come back in the studio, we feel more confident mm -hmm. on like contributing and not being shy to you know, give ideas. Sometimes mm -hmm. we still shy sometimes. Yeah, I, I think yeah. we're more so like dependent on, on each, each other, other again. You know, yeah. when you've done it already by yeah. yourself and you do it real fast, you'd be like, Michelle, be on the Can you come here this just in case? But I mean, deep in your guts, you know what's right and what's right. Now, are you laying vocals for the record in this room? Yes. Like yes. for the record? Because yes. the only person I've ever seen do that is Prince. So like, really? the CEO, yeah, the people don't, most people don't sit here and do like, Prince is the only one I've heard that can sit down and he'll be in the studio playing, laying his vocals. Wow. And everybody else wow. got to go in the booth. So I'm like, I'm looking no, at you like, like, wow. This. We didn't want to go in the booth this time. <laughs> I so think tell me. All right, answer me this question. Since y'all doing it right in here, y'all could have just did it in the crib, like, in the bathroom or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so like not in the bathroom. Not in the bathroom. Well, I did my vocals um, on my last album in um, my bedroom, master bedroom. We stripped everything down and put it made, made it good. Straight. A little bit more mature subjects with mm -hmm. this record, and mm -hmm. we talk about love. We talk about what comes along with love: the good, the bad. You know, the bedroom kind of love. You know, mm, that kind of love. That kind of love. <laughs> Okay, I'm <laughs> taking it there. Okay, now how you gonna go from talking about bedroom love to guys love when you go back? To well, the because room? see what had happened was one day, you know, that bedroom was on is under fire when you marry. So I see, y'all see, 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 see talk about. See, we help, we trying to help married folks stay married. Ah, I, like, I, I like, I like that. I <laughs> trying like that. to help y'all stay married because we don't have examples anymore. So and I, you know, what I'm yeah, saying? and from what our friends. <laughs> You know, tell, tell us. us about love and what we've experienced. You know, write it down. That's right. So, if you want everybody to feel it. That's what's up. He's got to keep it real. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you want to go see Beyonce? She see, in we, my room. Well, we have two. Uh huh. She's in my room. Oh, really? Oh, she's in the cutting room. Oh, could. Do y'all want to hear Cater to You? We need, a, we need to hear Cater to You. Yeah, I need to hear that. You you hey, hey, what, um, you're supposed to make me a CD of that. Someone told me. It's heavy. heavy. Baby, I see you working hard, wanna let you know I'm proud, let you know that I admire what you do. Don't know if I need to reassure you, my life will be purposeless without you. Yeah. I won't it hide when I ask you about it. You inspire me to be better, you challenge me for the better. Go back and let me know how my love better. Let me help you take off your shoes, untie your shoestrings, take off your how you feel <laughs> being back in the studio with Doc I'm, Child? I'm very excited because it's been a long time and we go way back. Way back, 99. Way back. We go back to 99. Doc Child, 99. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how was it doing this transition, you know, going from... Beyonce to the Destiny's Child project now. It's been hard because I've been having to do 
the movie and this at the same time. So it's hard to, you know, try to be focused on two things at once. But now I'm done with the movie so I can give all of myself to this album. I'm excited. All of us are just... You know, it feels good to hear our voices together again, and we're anxious to hear how the record gonna come out, and just happy that you know we really are doing another album together. What's the feel of this album? Well, we still figuring out. We did about fourteen songs, and we can't wait till next week so we can pick the ones that we love. It's still, you know, I guess we would call it. We about sixty percent done, but it's a lot more street, a lot more urban. Gotcha. Yes. Alright. We'll be back with you later. <laughs> we be back! Right. We're in the studio working on this Destiny Child record, right? Sean has put me to the test and said we got to do up tempo right now. It ain't about to yesterday, tonight, or forevermore. It's right now. <laughs> And then one, I'm going to go to Say My Name, Dusty Shop. Okay. UK inspired, by the way. <laughs> you know, how is that UK? Because it, uh, it happened. So they didn't sing to the actual track. Like when I was in the UK, I was in the UK. Oh. I was in the UK working with the Spice Girls before I worked with Destiny's Child. And I went to a club one night with them and their D, there was a DJ playing what was called, I believe, like two-step music. And I was so intrigued by the rhythms that I was hearing because I never, I'd never been to UK, I never heard those rhythms. Mm. So I went up to the DJ and I asked him, could he make me a, a CD of a bunch of two-step garage music? And he did. He brought it to the hotel, and I flew, I flew on a plane. My first session after I got back to the states was with Destiny's Child, and they really sang to a two-step beat. Now, after the two-step beat was over, that's when. Uh, everybody didn't like it. No one liked it. Everybody just thought it was trash. And then fast forward to um, the day of the mix, John Marie. John Marie, took, I walked in. I walked in the studio and I told John Marie, I said, "Can you pull down the track and just leave the vocals up?" And he said, "Why? We were mixing." I was like, "Everybody was right. I'm wrong. This is this is trash. Like this is not good." And he goes, you sure? And I was like, I'm positive. They're right. I'm wrong on this one. And I humbled myself and I went back and I redid all of, all of the, the track, the, the whole track over. And now it became, it became Say My Name As You Know It Now. And it was my first Grammy. So it's like a, it's somewhat, this is a whole, the story of it is somewhat an emotional wow. attachment to it because of the way it happened. But it was definitely UK inspired from the gate. It ended up not being that, by the way, right? It ended up not being a two-step, but it was inspired by that from, wow. from, from day one. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and turn on the notification button.
but also check out our membership offers where you can actually watch all these videos um, as soon as they're released, um, especially without any of those uh, YouTube ads. But thanks again for watching and being part of the Halftime Chat community.